Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another edition of First 40 Turns. Coming at you with a Gilga Bro. This will be uh, our second to last First 40 Turns edition. Only one left is Zulu, and then boom, that's it. Uh, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the series, and I hope you enjoy this edition. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for being here. Let's do this thing. Uh, this was our first roll, and it's a good one. Uh, slipping down here for a uh, turn one settle, grabbing the 4-2 tile, which is OP, uh, and then uh, having other good tiles in play. And then, of course, this fabulous tile as well uh, grabs this a, uh, a really productive tiles in addition. And then uh, it also, by moving here, I was pointing out to chat here before we got started, by moving three tiles away from this, this could potentially be your turn three, or sorry, turn three, your turn uh, number two city, uh, potentially, uh, with the 2-2 two -two city center. So that's a possibility right there. Um, yeah, so that's a possibility. And then, of course, you got these Petra Hills here, potentially. Uh, looks like there's going to be at least four of them. So it could be a Petra City out here as well, or potentially down there. So we'll move away from that and give those tiles to whatever city is going on there. Um, like that. Um, information. Whoever's coming down there. It's another good tile here. Um... Yeah, I mean, unless it opens up over here, it's not much. Looks like there might actually be two hills here, actually. That actually might be three hills. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hills right there. So if there's fresh water over here, you could definitely uh, put together a nice little Petra. All right, let's do this thing. We're going to go to here. And we've got a found city. Uh, we've got horses right there, which is nice. Um... On the outer ring, anyway, so it could help another city potentially. Fortress on the growth. Uh, I like going scout uh, in order to get to our monument, uh, or sorry, to our monument, to our settler uh, as quickly as we can. And also because we're on uh, on a larger landmass, always nice to have a scout to do the searching. Uh, will it be always the forty turns? Yes. Uh, in a, well, not always exactly 40. In the last few, we've actually gone to like 42, 44, stuff like that. Typically, I go right on to 40. But the last couple have kind of been things we wanted to see what would happen. So we did an extra few turns. But that's the whole point of the series. Uh, you can actually do the first 40 turns command in chat to get a little bit better description. Uh, not to mention the YouTube command, which will get you to my YouTube channel. So uh, first thing that we would want to do is probably... Hmm. I mean, there's not really a lot of things. Oh, nice one three out there as well. This could become a two two tile. You could work that for animal husbandry, get an early luxury. There's not really a right or wrong answer here, but I would say probably animal husbandry simply because it's going to expand to that tile first. Um, so you wouldn't have to buy a tile in order to work it. Uh, you could just work that, get a luxury quick. But either way would work. Uh, and then I like everything else. Let's just do that thing, right? Let's do it. Um, I'm just going to step in here. I'm going to step there and see what's going on. It looks like there's a river right there. It There is. Wow. Petra City Heights. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, I mean, you could still do it, but it would be a three, it'd be a seven hill Petra. But it'd be actually a really strong city. You could put the city right here on a two-two city center, two chops to get it done, uh, and tons of hills. If you're going for a science victory, which I would often suggest with with him, science or culture, you can do either one with his special tile. And uh, I mean, his tile improvement is not OP, but it's it's strong. It's nice to have a nice extra bonus science. It's particularly strong when he's on Deity AI because he gets such a huge bonus and he just spams that tile, gets the huge science bonus, and he rushes the science hard. 
um, the barbs forward settled. Um, but yeah, that's uh, you could do a decent little Petra City and then have other options in and around it as well. So it wouldn't be terrible. It make you know you'd have really strong tiles. Uh, if you went there, you wouldn't get that. So it'd be three, it'd be six hills. Eh, it's probably like that's bare minimum Petra, I would say. Uh, it keeps other, somebody else from getting it, I suppose. Keep moving. Not too shabby. Dog won't stop licking my feet. Stop it. Um, pop two on turn five. Uh, working a couple of strong tiles there now. Two turns from starting our settler. Uh, la, la, la. I'm kind of going around this guy, and then I'm going to come back to him once possibly I can get my boost. Um, since I haven't, I didn't see the scout come in through here, so the scout's probably out somewhere else. Uh, what's Petra City? Uh, Petra is a wonder. Petra is a wonder right here. It's also, it can be seen in, uh, the Last Crusade, I believe. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade uh, is where you can see Petra in real life, the real Petra. But yeah, it gives, it provides two food, two gold, and a production to all desert tiles. So what it does is these here are hills. I mean, it's it's only really good. The reason why I'm counting up is it's only really good when there's lots of hills. Um, otherwise, you just have these flat tiles that are two one twos, which isn't bad, but they're not strong tiles that you would want to work that badly. But all Petra, all desert hills immediately become two food, two production, two gold immediately. That's just two two heaven, and then throw a ton of gold on top of it. Uh, and then once you mine them, they become two three twos, two four twos, two five twos later in the game. And if you were to, for instance, go for a science victory. Um, since we're into this discussion, let's just talk about it. Let's put, say you put your city there. And let's just say, for instance, you put... Where would you build your industrial zone? Probably here for a plus four. That would be a plus four there. And then you could build Brewer Valley there. Or you could actually, one, two, three, four, you could build it there. There might be another hill there. So you could do industrial zone there, Ruhr Valley there. In any case, let's say you did it there. Let's say you built your industrial zone there, and then Ruhr Valley right there. Uh, build a wonder right there, Ruhr Valley. So Ruhr Valley provides every single mine in the city that Ruhr Valley is built, provides an extra one production to every single mine. In addition to that, it also gives you an extra 20% production in that city. So in a science game, when you get on towards the end, uh, when you're building all your science projects, having a really high production city is very, very strong uh, and very, very recommended. So every single mine in this city would then get an additional production in addition uh, to the production it already has. So in this case, um, you know, these here... Once you get on to the end of the game, every mine provides plus three production. So this would be a 1-5 tile, but it would instantly become a 1-6 tile because you had Roar Valley. Uh, these would be um, uh, twos and then five. So these become 2-6 two tiles, 2-6-2. Two uh, two. All these would have six production. And then there's a lot of mines in the city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, Maybe more. Uh, I've had cities up over 200 before uh, with all the right bonuses and stuff. So, yeah, industrial zone right in there is a minimum plus four. Uh, yeah, be a really strong city for a science run. It turns sand into gold. 
Cleopatra. Let's keep walking around here. Oh, that's very interesting. And you'd also want to control. You'd want to get the city down and get these tiles grabbed because there's more hills even here. This could be as many as 18 or 19 hills as a Petra or as a Ruhr Valley Petra city. Um, you want to, you're going to meet this guy, which is great science. It could be a first meet, which will help us in our science. But you'd want to... Yes, it was. And it's Geneva. Oh, 15%. Boo, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, here's a 4-2 tile down here. So hopefully if there's fresh water anywhere... Uh, there's a Kosovo, obviously. If there's any fresh water down in here, you could grab... There's a lot of really nice tiles and a 4-2 tile to work. Otherwise, you could just settle the, on the... On the on the coast there um, for another city. But what you'd want to do is quickly get the city settled and try and consume those tiles before you give them enough envoys to grab tiles. So this has already got one envoy. As soon as you get a second envoy, they grab a tile. As soon as they get a third envoy, they grab another tile, fourth, and so on. So the last thing you want them to do is grab your mines uh, that you would want to work in this city with Roar Valley. So it'd be worth, worth getting the city down and spending some money to buy these tiles before you let them have envoys uh, in order to absolutely optimize the strength of your city. Uh, now you move on to your settler. Pop three in three turns. We're one turn away from being able to grab that tile, um, which is so going to be very nice. This is going to probably trim down to nine. Oh, eight. Stand corrected. Turns it down to eight. So it went from 11 down to eight in one turn. Two more turns, we'll grab another tile to work, and that'll probably go from a. So in two turns, so next turn it'll say seven. The following turn is supposed to go to six, it'll probably go to four, maybe five, but maybe four as well. Very, very strong opening city. Hey, Kumar, how you doing? Submit in the glass. What's the task for Geneva? Oh, I didn't check. Yeah. You you want to be careful not to do it, that's for sure. No, it's uh, early. Oh, shoot, you'll get that too. So we'll, we'll, we'll complete this envoy. And what's going to happen is hopefully they've got a Luxury or something out here they can grab in the... in the uh, Or maybe there's a nice tile to the north. Because uh, we'll, we'll complete that task. Getting the Eureka to a... Um, what should we call it? Last thing you want them to do is grab any of these three tiles. So you'll want to hope. Uh, he's not close enough to see that. There's a 4-1 tile. A city down here in the water would be nice. Little bonus. Um, what's our gold situation? 46... What was their first meet? Our first impression? Six, eh? See, minus six is rough. We're not even close to being able to offer them uh, open borders. That's going to be hard to combat. Now, it would potentially save us time until we can satisfy their agenda. But satisfying their agenda would be hard because I'm not going to plan on going to war and fighting for my people. So I think I would just save the gold here. And then if we have to... Uh, pump out some war carts and beat his brakes off, then that's what we'll do. Yeah, super easy uh, bo bonus uh, on, on, on Geneva. The only problem is, is it's going to make them grab a tile, so that's what sucks the most. Um, I'm going to walk through here, like I said. I'm going to take that thing out once it... Uh, Where the heck are the fresh water at? Oh, found another desert. Jeez. Oh, that river comes right over to this. That's nice. Be a nice spot for a city. Yeah, it's seriously disgusting out. 
us in that. Oh, the desert keeps going over here. What the hell? Oh, that is garbage. So maybe the city up in here somewhere, and then that's a farming triangle, and then you buy it for one, maybe. Uh, so it's good news to see these two tiles, because as this city acquires uh, envoys, which we'll get for them, they'll grab these two tiles before they'll grab these three. So these this will help uh, them from keeping that. Now here's this guy probably, so as long as he doesn't see our city center, we're not in too bad a shape there. Look at the land over here, it's insane. Uh, river heading north also, so we could probably go on to the, na, na, na. hopefully up in here there being other plains hill we could settle. Not very nice land here, but a settle there grabs you this 2-2 tile on your second ring, this 4-1 tile on your second ring. Uh, you could always consume some of this jungle, or sorry, some of this marsh to get your population up. But at some point, you got to be like, is it really worth it? I mean, this lumber mill here, it's not very nice, but I mean, you got to put a city somewhere, right? Um, some nice tiles down here. Maybe there's some fresh water you could extend to from this. Uh, there's a river going here. Maybe this river comes down here. But yeah, th this isn't much of a city. This would be like, I would definitely leave this city till towards the end. Nice farming triangle. Uh, plenty of growth to be had, but production would be brutal in this city. You probably want to steal that tile from the capital just to give it a shot. Uh, two tiles from Code of Laws. There's your 2-2 city center right there. For a city up there. Uh, yeah, this river bends down this way, which is nice. Unfortunately, it's not on that tile because that would have been a nice 2 2. But maybe something in here. You could settle the incense, but it pulls you away from this. Depends on what's around, I guess. I'd imagine there's got to be somebody down here, because I'm thinking he's over there. There's got to be something down here, I would think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Australia, and he's forward settled us already. Feels... Bad man. Actually, I screwed up. I should have sent him an envoy. At his best. He should have been sent an envoy. That was my fault. Or not an envoy, a uh, delegation. Oops. Yeah, he's declined it now, but it's the next turn. That was kind of a miss. A misplay on my part. Holy cow, we need uh, culture and we need it bad. Only the one first meet has been brutal. Hello, Jan the game, how you doing? Uh, turn two in the settler. I would say probably just go get this one before he goes and goes crazy and grabs it. Um, oh crap, what am I doing? I've lost my focus. I need to regain it. Rush. Well, I don't know. It depends on... Uh, that was a massive mistake. Oh, my God. It's so frustrating. I lost my focus. I've lost my focus. Um, so settlers out. You could rush another settler 
Um, and then forward, that like go up here in Seto and try to get some extra cities going quickly. That's a possibility uh, that I run it sometimes. Um, one thing that you could consider, the problem is, is that the last thing you want to do is is attack Australia, right? The last thing you want to do. If they attack you, that's one thing. Um, and Alexander's a long ways away, so marching your war carts way over there to grab land that's massively away from you, not that valuable. So, um, it's not, you know, like some people, they believe in like immediately rushing military and attacking the first person they see and then letting the chips fall where they may. That's fine. I personally don't necessarily believe it's worth it a lot of the times to spend that much time in your early game rushing a military and then sometimes you gain something out of it, sometimes you don't. Maybe you gain a city or two, but you could have had four or five cities if you done it the normal way, or my way. Uh, so it's it's one way or the other you can go. You could you could jump out a bunch of war cards, but what does it get you? Attack attack Australia? Give them 100% production? I don't think so. That ain't flying. And uh, I don't like the idea of marching across to Alexander as well, because he's strong militarily, so. Uh, I think I jump into the monument, and then you could start grabbing slingers uh, for defense. Um, now, some people would be like, "Well, you're not taking advantage of Gilgabro and his war cards." Well, you got to play it by ear sometimes, and I don't personally see a strong reason. Uh, to go to military. If this was somebody other than Australia, maybe I would think, ah, oh, that's not a bad idea. We can do that. No man ever wetted me. Junk. That scout's been spawned, so hopefully we can get three kills. We'll go after writing. Do, 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 do. Hopefully that scout doesn't cross the water. Look at the land down here. Son of a... Uh... A Eureka? It gives... No, clearing a... Uh, uh, it gives you... Um, clearing barb huts as Samiria um, gives you uh, a goodie hut or, or tribal village, if you will, uh, bonus in addition to the regular goal that you get from clearing it. God, the land down here is disgusting. It's so nice. Oh, there's the denunciation. So, right after that monument. He's gonna he's gonna take that freaking barb hut. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. He is going to take that barb hut. You son of a bitch. And now he's gonna get all the kills. I was looking to kill all these guys for the uh Oh my god. I was looking to kill these guys for the boosts. This freaking Australian prick. No first meat there either. Oh my god, this is a trolley map. Uh, oh, and we also, I forgot, you switch over to here to a gogi. Uh, with the denunciation from Australia. Uh, ignore requests. We didn't get a single kill out of that. Oh my freaking Lanta. Oh wow, he's down here more, okay. 
So there's probably somebody up there then as well. Oh. I'm not sure what you mean or what you're saying, especially with Australian neighbor Kumar. I'm not sure what you're, what you're saying. I want to get archery, but I want to make sure I get slingers out quick. scout up so I can watch for his advancement of troops. Get that boost to archery going. Should be able to get one more. Even with the boost, I should be able to get another slinger in. That gave me three. Yeah, stealing those bar pits was frustrating. I assume they wouldn't need that one, but uh, there's the boost. Yeah, Slinger in two, Archery in three. He's moving back in his was into his land, so that's interesting. Look at the appeal. He's got a plus three campus just because of the appeal. The breathtaking appeal. He's got a river and f and four uh, and four trees. So that breathtaking appeal is making that campus a plus three. God, this Australia is so OP. It's ridiculous, dude. Absolutely ridiculous. Amani in Geneva? Uh, eventually I would put Amani in Ge Oh yeah, there is Amani in there. So they're, they're grabbing tiles. I, I thought you were saying I should do it. Looks like they grabbed a tile out here. In addition to this one. But yeah, they got the envoy for uh, clearing that bar butt. Or for... No, sorry. The, they got the, the envoy for him. I, I get an envoy in five turns for having the high population. Finish off foreign trade. I shot an arrow into the air. 
Archer. Archer. Uh, again, we're going on the defense. You can slow down that game. It's so frustrating. But at this point, it as long as he comes to war with us, we're not in too bad of a shape. Still working on our freaking Pantheon. Uh, let's turn on a Gogi. As long as he comes to war with us, then we could then just turn on him and go take his cities um, without. Ha and then, you know, I mean, we've got lots of land. That's the thing is that we could explore, but because we're into this forward settle area, you know, I don't want to send units off to explore. Um, you know, this is crap land down here. Maybe there's something good here. Maybe that's a couple cities up in there you could get. You know, there's there's a fair amount of space, but you don't know where it ends, and you can't explore right now. Um, I am the best. Thank you very much. I am the best. I appreciate that follow. Walk. Glad you found us. Glad you're joining. What up? So, yeah, like I said, you know... You got a decent little Petra city here and a city that would be amazing as you push forward in the game to uh, to have us kind of earmarked for a science victory, if that's what you were going for. Uh, a city down here that's kind of subpar. The forward settle has been annoying, but if you could ever get a counterattack in and take one or two of the cities or even wipe them out, uh, there's a ton of amazing land down here. You could, I mean, theoretically, if you look at this, you know, you, depending on what's up here, you might have two more good cities up here. That's three. Maybe you have six cities, including those. Maybe there's some more stuff out here. This lake in the middle of the desert is kind of useless. Maybe there's a river over here somewhere, some lakes or something that can help you out. But not a lot of great land. It gets pretty sparse out here. Terrible down there. All the good land is in here. So my thought would be... In this particular playthrough, as we finish out these first 40 turns, I would almost consider just saying, do whatever you can to piss him off. Um, and hope that he comes to war with you. And as soon as he does, don't ever make peace. Uh, just war him until you take his land. Uh, and then you just kind of cut this whole area off as your own. Uh, he's down there. If, you go to, if you're at war and you're, and you're taking stuff, that's yeah, actually going to satisfy Alexander's... Um, agenda and then yeah just take the land throw up 12 cities and Bob's your uncle but you know I you have to make these decisions on the go right it's not always easy it's not always uh, clearly defined sometimes you're kind of isolated sometimes you're not necessarily isolated but you got plenty of room for the cities you need so just you know Kick it back on defense with some archers. That's all you really need. That's certainly a possibility. In this case, Australia is so strong in this game. Uh, they'd be so hard to handle. They don't even have a particularly strong uh, military right now. They're, they're already pushing the science hard. Uh, they, it looks like they've got some mountains, so they're probably going to have some strong campuses. Competing with them is just going to be annoying. So, why not? Go to town. And fight them. They're popping a library in there now. Um, again, just jump into position here. This guy's alerted. That's awesome. Can you build zingers? I mean the ziggurat? Uh, yeah. Are you talking about the ziggurat? 
Um, yeah, you can build it uh, anywhere. I think. Is there? There's... Yeah, it can go. It can go on any land, uh, piece of land. Any whatever. Um, culture obviously was next to a river, so having lots of rivers is great. Um, to find places to put it. Uh, rivers down through here as well, if you can take over his land. Yeah, uh, sorry, not on hills. It has to be on flat land. Did I not say that? Yeah, it has to be on flat land, but it can be any kind of, like, tundra, desert, doesn't matter, even snow. Snatching defeat from the Jaws of Victory. Uh, that's the Envoy for Geneva. Plus four era score. So, yeah, I would say spamming the war carts at this point, uh, which are very strong, and just kind of running over Australia is the way to go. Hello, YouTube. What's going on, VZK? How you doing? It doesn't so what oh you mean like uh running chat no i don't do a running chat on my stream not because it's because of youtube just because i never have see he's denounced me but i don't know if he's going to uh come to war might it might take another forward settle to be honest with you Down, 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 down. This city needs a granary uh, in order to help it grow because it doesn't have any. Sh that's the one thing about this city. It's gonna have lots of chops to get your petra done, but it doesn't have a lot of, of tiles that'll help with growth. Uh, between the plains and the desert, um, it's actually in a lot of trouble. Generally speaking, I would say. Uh, so getting the granary, helping that growth early would, would be a big key. There's no strong growth tiles at all. Not even a... Well, you can go... Oh, here you can go farming triangle for at the beginning, but eventually you're going to have to take that out. Maybe maybe you could eat the wheat and the marsh to get the growth up. That would be an idea. Even this wheat. Just eat it all to get the population up. And then you can maintain with the, with the food tiles you got. Uh, I could move the scout. I had him planted there to, so I could kind of see... I wanted to be able to see his units. I assumed that he was coming for me. He denounced me very quickly. I assumed he was going to bring his units forward. So having the scout there, the reason for that is I'll, you just start seeing his units go vroom, vroom, right through this forest, right? So I figured I would see that, and then I would know. Then I, would, then I could upgrade my slingers, right? Because I'm not upgrading right now because it just costs gold. Um, so you could, then I would be able to upgrade my slingers to archers in time for the war to start and you know get all of everything into position and ready to go um so that's why i've got them there but you're right um that forward reconnaissance is a waste of a scout no doubt about it um i could easily have him uh searching around so maybe i had up there not a bad idea at all uh yes yep yeah, every always against deity yeah Gobbling up the tiles like a beast. What is going on? Oh my god. It's enough to trigger you right there, folks. Yeah, get tundra to the north. I knew we would. No problem at all, bud. No problem at all. Or would you ever think about taking over Geneva? Oh god, no, Kimar. In a, in, no. The only time I considered taking over Geneva is if, if it was in the way during a domination victory. There'd be no other circumstance under which I would even consider.
taking over Geneva. I'm also interested in That would be insane. They're very strong. Plus fifteen percent science when you're at peace. That's insane. Yeah, I would never take over any science city state. If you're going for science or culture victory, science city states are OP. For sure. Wow, not only is it it ends early too, holy cow. So you're kind of stuck settling tight cities, which means you would want to put a city here in order to grab that, and then you could always say delete that and hopefully grab another city up in here somewhere instead. Maybe that's a tundra hill that you can, or a, yeah, a plains hill that you could grab a city on there. Maybe I'm gonna go out and let me say guessing that that is in case. Ha, <laughs> Joanna, I do love your country. I do indeed. Uh, Sparty with the auto host. Thank you, Sparty. Under no circumstances would I take, unless, like I said, unless it was in the way, or if I was doing like a religious victory or a, something like that, where I didn't need Geneva for the science, and I didn't, I was kind of trapped in a corner and I needed another city. But under no circumstances would I take it over for a science or culture victory. Under no circumstances. There's no reason it would ever be of value to do that. I want to see what's on that tile. Pantheon! Oh, the ones we like are gone. Damn you. Um, God, all the good ones are gone. Uh, Divine Spark, I suppose. Because uh, you're in a science or culture victory, Divine Spark is very strong. So, um, One thing very, 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 very frustrating at this point is the fact that Australia hasn't attacked us. If they don't attack you, then you're kind of screwed. Because we're, we're, we're we've kind of, this is where you're almost making a decision where you might be scrapping the game. Because things are not going the way you want. I'm going to hit next turn. I know we're at 40, but we're going to 41 because I want to see what's on that tile. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, we refuse to fight for our people. Oh, I didn't past. see you attacking Australia, you crazy son of a... There's our settler card. We can start pumping out settlers. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Oh, it's got a sheep on it, though. But I would definitely still settle it for the 2-2 two -two city center. That's your four cities. That's five. Coastal city, six. Um, and then you just wipe him out. But again, you got to pray that he uh, comes and attacks you. This is, like I said, the one of those situations where... You could be going down a strategic path that kind of puts you out of it. Uh, making the decision to put yourself in a position to uh, to fight against Australia in a counteroffensive to take out his land. If he doesn't come and attack us, I don't know why he's not. He denounced us. Why his units have not moved forward on us, I do not know. Um, he's happy with everyone else he's met. He's not, he's not at war or anything like that. There's no reason why he shouldn't be coming to fight us. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, he has tons. Look, his, his science is 44 already on turn 41. It's ridiculous. You gotta take him out. He's just, he's so strong. He's just gonna rock your world. Savvy Sloth, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the follow. Welcome. I'm glad you found us. I'm glad you're enjoying. Remember to leave your shoes at the door and then to make yourself at home. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate you being here. Uh, so that is first 40 turns with Samiria. 
a little bit unusual. Uh, but that's what we get around here, right? With first 40 turns, things are different. An unusual Petra City. An unusual Petra City, for sure. Um, we do have iron. And not only that, but... Uh, okay, yeah, it's an iron, yeah. But it's, it's close by. We could do a night rush as well later on if you wanted. He said it. <laughs> uh, yeah, things are looking really strong uh, as far as the land is concerned if you could take Australia. Otherwise, eh, it's one of those games where you can be like, oh, shoot, wasted my time. But yeah, it, it's it's fun to see some of the different things that can happen. With You know, you, you discover the land, you figure out what's going on. Uh, the bonus science has helped us with Geneva. We've got our monuments up, so we're working the culture tree pretty well. Uh, we are still a little ways away. We want to go meet some city states, so I would start this. I would start by moving this guy in this direction somewhere. We need to meet one more city state as fast as possible. Probably even go running along with this war cart. See if we can't find a city state. An unusual run. I, he he denounced us. He's this close to us. We forward settled him. We would not make a promise not to forward settle him again. Yet, for whatever reason, he's just like, ah, it's okay. I don't know. It's unusual. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, on the first 40 turns, thank you folks for joining me on this edition. I really do appreciate it. Um, slightly short one. But we got things done. Gilgamesh. Gilga bro. Uh, been a fun run. Thanks for joining us. We have one more left. And then the first 40 turns is over. Feels sad, man. Uh, we'll see you for that one tomorrow. Bye-bye.